Good evening and welcome back once again. If you joined us last time, we had a convincing 4-1 win at home. We actually fell behind in that one to a magnificent free kick. Go check that one out if you didn't see the last video. We also looked through some of the stats for December as that came to a close. And the players that we agreed to sell before the January transfer window have all left now. We have made one youth signing, which is our left-back Teixeira. He can play at centre-back, so he's probably going to cover a couple of different positions until we potentially fill out our squad a little bit with some signings. We have made a few attempts. We haven't heard anything back yet, so hopefully after this match we may get some updates. And as you can see, pretty much a full strength lineup. We have brought in Rice in place of Hetich, just to give him a little bit of a rest. Share as well, he's on a little bit downward energy, so we'll leave him off. And we've got a pretty bare squad, so not too much we can change around really anyway. I like the look of this really sort of smaller ground. Really like that. We've had a pretty much flawless December, six wins out of six. Only two clean sheets, which is probably the only downside. But only let in a goal in each of the other games. You know, there's no two goals in anything like that. There's Teixeira, the new boy from the youth squad. He doesn't look 17, does he? He's definitely had a hard paper round. But like I say, we have made a few attempts for signings. Some loan with the option to buy and some just out and out signings. We'll have to wait and see if any of them are successful. But most importantly, on the pitch, we want to continue our good form. It wasn't just the wins, but particularly the last two or three matches we've been playing very, very well. Carlos Perez. Nice play, lovely goal. First attack, and we've got a trophy called Trickster. I'm um, not sure what that's for. Uh, you know, obviously something to do with performing a trick, but I've um, done very similar goals to that before. You know, out to Perez, playing a little cut inside, and then a nice curl and finish. Zixi with another assist. He's got quite a few. He's a good leading striker. Yes, he's got his goals, but Carlos Perez was actually the top scorer in December for our team. And I think Xerxes probably provided most of those assists as well. We've got a good combination going down that, uh, down that right side. And I was going to say we look a little bit weaker on the right side because not, not as much goes through that way with our class. But when we looked at the stats, he was in the top three of our best overall rated players, um, which was very surprising for me. Here's Vieira. Oh, good save. Very good save. Here's Sanoon. Nice ball. Oh, what a header that was. Wonderful header. Vieira's not the tallest. And we don't get much creativity or output from the wing backs. I don't know, maybe Sanoon realises his, his place is under threat. I know we're playing Teixeira in, in centre back today. But his out and out role is normally left back, so he's got a bit of competition. Lovely header. So yeah, 2-0. Um I did think I'm pretty sure Lugo, I don't know exactly where they are in the league, but they're in the bottom half. So I did think this is probably gonna be a bit of an easier match than some of the ones we've had. Nice play to Arcas. Sanoon again. Ah, that time, um, not a good pass. But he's getting down the flanks, which is good. I think sometimes we've just suffered from that lack of creativity. Well, saying that, we don't. I suppose we don't really need it sometimes. We want to just be 
a little bit more sure in defence. Oh, just offside. That's got to be close. Oh, yes. Just what? Not even a foot offside. Half a foot offside. And I've said before, Herrera, you know, he's not playing in the position that's the most creative for ourselves, you know, our most creative players are in the wide areas and that attack midfielder role that Vieira normally plays in. Um, but he does a great job and he does create as well sometimes. Would like to see him get a little bit more. Now Perez and Vieira. Not much room. Uh, yeah, just... Again, I think I mentioned in not the last match, but the one before, where we won 6-0. I think it was that match. Oh, that's a bit unlucky to get a yellow there. It's the first foul of the match, I think. But we're at our best when we're playing quick passes rather than, you know, what happened there is end up trying to play around a bit too much. Good block. And sometimes that's just the situation. You just get, get caught in a situation where there's uh, six or seven defenders and you've got to try and work your way around it. Good defending there. Now, chance for a counter attack. There's not too many people in support, but here's Zirkzy. Gets it back to Arkas. That's ah, blocked. Took too long with the ball there. Needed a snapshot. Here's Vieira. Now, Zirkzy. Zirkzy. Oof, deflected. I think that was gone wide anyway. Well defended in the end. And Zixi gets it back though. I thought that was a bit of a foul, but never mind. Now is he Herrera? Oh, he loses out there. That was poor. Doesn't often lose out when we plays the simple pass well. from Rice again just trying to be too clever I think <sighs> Chuka's white Chuka's not happy don't blame him but that all came down from I think it was Rice wasn't it playing a poor ball and it's just wide Here's Perez. Ah, oh, wide. Nice effort. I purposely did try and lift the ball up a little bit, which you can do with uh, the sprint button. If the ball's fired into you and use the sprint button to your advantage, you can pop the ball up a bit and then you can try and volley it in. That time it didn't quite work. Caught here. Good tackle from Gyoza. Might have one last chance in the half. Oh, decent effort. I just had to play the ball forward, but it's 2 0 at half time. Pretty good opening 15 minutes, and it started to settle down a bit. 
So that's why 61% possession, when we looked at the averages for December, it was 60%. So that's about bang on for our normal play. And it was Carlos Perez and Vieira that got our goals. So you can see with an assist for the Perez goal. Nicely played by uh, Herrera there. Good play, Xerxes. <sighs> yeah, poor touch. That that one wasn't intentional. The pop up. Yeah, it was really heavy. say that's one of the most blatant misses that we've had in a long time you know we have misses we have a lot of shots and goal that we we don't score often it can just be good saves or hitting it wide things like that but they're not often that blatant Herrera and it's blocked of course it is because it's a long shot so the defenders pretty much 99% of the time block it which I've said before but I keep doing it anyway. Here's Herrera again. A little bit more space this time. Oh, nice ball through to Xerxes. Oh, poor touch again, though. Don't know where Xerxes' touch has gone today. It's been brilliant the um, past few matches. And Arcas oh, losing now, but he wins it back really well. Nice ball from Herrera. Back to him from Arcas, and there it is, there's a goal. He doesn't often get in the score sheet, but that was really nicely played. Arcas won it back after losing out, played a nice simple ball to Herrera. Herrera, Herrera drove on. A nice little one two back. Oh, lovely finish as well with his left. It was not an easy finish. In fact, it would have been easier for him to go with his right foot, which is his favourite, but look at that, slotted away. And I'm pleased for him. You know, he's... Uh, maybe doesn't always get the plaudits of the likes of Vieira, and they came in around about the same time. Vieira naturally plays in a more tight position, and therefore is involved in a lot more of the goals, but... Hero does the... Uh, Nice little ball from Xerxes. Oh, oh, cast with a decent effort and a good save. Should Xerxes should have just shot anyway, maybe? It was a nice ball. But, um, I don't know, probably would have been better for him to go for it. Ah, I thought that was a good tackle from Rice there. That's definitely not a yellow. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll make some changes. But we haven't got too many choices, to be honest. We're going to bring Castledean on for Vieira, Carlson on for Argas, and we're actually going to put Harrington up top in place of Xerxes. I wanted to bring Bajer on, but he needs to be rested, and we just need to be careful with our squad at the moment. And with us having a very comfortable lead, there's no point of pushing Bajer to come on when it's not necessary. Through a ball, a uh, chance for a counter-attack here. Carlson with his first touch of the ball. Out to Carlos Perez. Ah, it's a poor, poor cut inside that time. Normally does it so well. But yeah, Harrington must have a... Uh, I didn't properly check, but his rating doesn't go down that much. It's centre-forward role. And he had a really good match recently. Nice play to Rice. Oh, just wide. Nice play from Harrington there. Holding up the ball well, playing it off. Yeah, nice. And Rice is... Uh, Rice has been a really decent play for us. He's passed... What, three or four months? He's one of the 
default players and um, he's one of the most successful ones I suppose Arcas would be the most successful he's uh, got his foot in that starting lineup at left wing even though that's not his favourite position nice ball from Carsten couldn't quite get it through to Harrington Nicely played. Oh, nice ball through to Carsten there. Decent effort by Heron. It was a little bit behind him. The pass was a little bit bobbly. Nicely defended. It's not taking any risks. Actually works out pretty well. Nice ball to Carsten. Not much support, so just holding it up. Nicely played. Harrington. And offside, maybe? Oof. Yeah, just his thigh by the looks of it. But we're getting towards the end of the match. Comfortable. And we did all of the hard work really in the first 15 minutes where we went 2-0 up. Obviously made it a bit more comfortable with that third goal. But, oof. Well, that uh, was nearly a calamity. It was like Gyoza, I think. Stuck his leg out. Understandably, he was just trying to defend it. But nearly caught the keeper totally off guard. Again, nicely defended. There's not really anyone there to, to pick it up though. That was a good tackle, but nicely played. And Harrington, I think he was foul, but play on. Again, Castledine couldn't quite get in there. He's to share a nice little touch on ahead of there. He doesn't have too much to do in his in his first match. He has Carlos Perez though. Harrington. Oh, just wide. Great position. Should have scored there, but comfortable win. Good performances all round. And just looking at the stats, 59% possession. 13 shots with 8 on target. They had 2 shots on target, but I think one of those was a deflected one. And they did have that really good chance where they just hit it wide. That resulted from a poor pass from Rice. But other than that, it was very comfortable. And that's a nice looking rating board. 6 is across the back 5, which is pretty good going. They often get 5s just because of lack of action. Fabio Vieira, man of the match. Not surprised with that. All of the attacking players in the midfield has played well. Herrera I was particularly impressed with. But I wouldn't say no to Vieira being man of the match. And we're now 11 points clear. No losses so far. We have had those three draws. But other than that, pretty much perfection. So we're back. And there's been some significant negotiations been going on. In terms of other clubs. And also some of our players as well. So first of all, we're going to have a look at uh, our team. We did get a bid in for Gyoza and Sanun. And we have accepted those. Now I know our squad's fairly bare. And these two are regular starters at wing backs. We're also um, been doing some contract renewals. These are still ongoing. We did manage to tie Schubert down to a bit of a longer contract. And we managed to reduce his salary a little bit. There was a reason for that. And if you look at the salary budget up top. We've only got 2,800 left. And that's for a couple of reasons. So here we go. Two new signings. And I'm very happy with them. We had to do some bit of dodgy dealing, you know, reducing salary for one or two of our players. We got bids in at good times for Sanun and Gyoza. We initially put in a bid for four players. I'll show you, show you the other two 
probably in a moment that I bid for. But Mudrik, I'm sure everyone will know. Now bear in mind, this is the Mudrik based off PES 2021 when this came out, rather than uh, as of now. In real life, he's moved to Chelsea not that long ago. His stats are nowhere near as good as what they are at the moment as they would be in probably like eFootball, for example. His speed and acceleration is there, but his other all-round stats aren't uh, like absolutely brilliant. But you can see that his offensive awareness, dribbling, that sort of thing is, is good. He's got a lot of room for improvement. He's only 20 years old in this game, but we managed to get him for um, a relatively cheap deal. Kosanu, now he looks absolutely brilliant from Bayer Leverkusen. I didn't know too much about him. Let's have a look. How old is he? He is 20 years old again, but look at some of his stats. Um, acceleration, jump, physical contact, stamina. You need that in PES 2021 for a defender. Physical strength is one of the key ones. Often lose out in battles in defence with with my current centre-backs. So he was a really key signing. I'm really happy with him. We just about managed to squeeze these through the door. I did say I wasn't going to make any ludicrous signings. These are probably above where we would expect as a Division 2 team. But we are leading the league by more than... I think it's 11 points now we're leading. I suppose in real life, this could be a bit of a project. We've had an influx of a bit of money for the transfer budget and um, we're going to try and get promoted to Division 1 and push even further. So maybe the players have seen that and, and bought into that. If this was Mudrik as he is now, his stats, I wouldn't have gone for him because he'd be rated way more than an AE and he would have a, a lot more offensive stats. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. And as you can see, Kosanu is coming in. He's been led around the training grounds to have a look, see what he's joining. And uh, speaking to us as the manager. But that's just about it for today, guys. Some really exciting things happening with the squad. We haven't managed to increase the numbers, which I did want to do, but I had a feeling it was going to be difficult to do that. Two outgoings, two incomings, but we've improved the actual quality of the squad massively. We might have to look to see if we can get some youth squad players in just to fill out the, the squad a little bit. Join me next time when we're at home to Levante in the Copa del Rey. Should be a really interesting match. Obviously, Levante has been one of our big rivals this season. They're currently third in the Division 1. Can we get through to the next round? I'll see you all then, but thanks for joining today. Cheers.